As I understand it, you were interested in all sorts of music, rock music, Beatles. The Beatles and Queen were two of the major sort of it was that moment, how can anyone compose such amazing music? Then I discovered opera, and I said, okay, I give up. There's a film that influenced you, but it also influenced, had an impact on Pavarotti, Domingo, and Carreras, and that was Mario Lanza in The Great Caruso. Can you remember when you saw it, and how old you were, and what impact it did have on you? I remember vividly exactly how it happened. At the time, it was, uh, was going through a particular heavy metal rock, heavy music, Ozzy Osbourne, you know, and, 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 and that kind of music. And my uncle said, I'm fed up of you and your devil music, <laughs> as he used to call it. I have found this old uh, uh, movie. This is when you were about 13? 13. 13, yeah, 12, 13, something like that. I think 13. He pushed it in the VCR, and um, this very handsome man came on the screen. And um, the first singing he does in the movie is not... Um, he doesn't sing opera or, or, or arias. He vocalizes, because he's carrying sacks of grain or flour in the in the pizza restaurant and the in the Italian trattoria, whatever it is. And they ask him, you know, there are singers from the Metropolitan. Would you sing for them? I said, too much of flour in the throat, you know. And uh, then they give him wine, and he starts singing. Still too dry. And more wine, and, and he goes even higher. He's a good. So, so I immediately said, A, this is amazing voice. B, wine equals great singing. <laughs> so months later, I went to my mother, and at the age of 14, this was a year later, I said, Mom, I have choir practice today, and I need wine. She said, you're 14, I'm not going to give you wine. I said, Mom, do you know better than Mario Lanza, you know, than Enrico Caruso? She said, OK, you can have some in a small plastic bottle. Then when they saw me you know, swigging Cabernet during practice, people were like, um, young man, do you have a problem or, <laughs> or what's going on? I said, no, no, wine is not good for the voice. Forget about it. You chose to say you came from heavy metal to Maryland's in the Great Caruso. You've been singing choirs, it was the Beatles. It was what a normal, active, uh, intelligent, curious boy of your age would be doing. Then. Mario Lanza had a real impact on you. Can you develop that for us a bit? Um, for example, at the time I mentioned Metallica, nothing else matters. So, so close, no matter how far, couldn't be much. And then suddenly, I was listening to someone going to, so anyone would agree that the second type of voice is absolutely, it's like comparing, um, you know, a supernova with, with, with a measly meteorite. I mean, it's just, it's just, this is so much fuller, better, more beautiful. And Mario Lanza um, was gifted with one of the most beautiful voices ever to grace any man's throat in, in, in any period. And it had the impact on me, I want to sing like that.